Urban gardens have started to take root here on the upper deck of the parking ramp at the Broadway market. Gardeners are hoping for a robust harvest. There's talk of trying to turn this into an urban oasis of sorts, putting more picnic tables and benches out, staging special events such as classic car nights, even bringing some special activities here on the roof, such as perhaps a driving range where inner city kids could learn golf lessons. I think they should come up here and visit and see the gardens. They're beautiful, they're growing, they're greening up, and come up here and have a picnic. I think it's good for the neighborhood, good for the people to see what really is there, there is here. There's nothing to be afraid of. But inside the market and in the surrounding neighborhood, there are differing views over whether the struggling east side icon is really moving in a new positive direction. Tom Kerr was hired to manage the city-owned market last year. He insists that this institution has taken some major steps to try to attract new shoppers, bring in new vendors, and build new energy. We're making improvements. We have eight new vendors that will be joining us at the end of the summer. And uh, so we've got some infrastructure um, that we have to fix up in order to get them in here. But an east side activist who has served on the Broadway Market Task Force has some concerns. Eddie Dobashevitz says he still doesn't think there's a long-term marketing plan for this institution. He also worries that there's not enough emphasis being placed on the food fair. And he faults the market manager for turning a deaf ear to other people's ideas. The current management does not want to work with the task force in its existing form. That's been clearly stated. Um, uh, on numerous occasions, you know, but and we, we'll, we still will hold, our, out, hold out our hands and uh, we, we continue to uh, offer our services and experience and expertise and um, our passion. We're very passionate about this neighborhood and, um, you know, we're, we think that enough is enough and we have to stop the crumbling and now start the, uh, the healing. So you're not trying to freeze out certain community types or anything? I Listen, I can't do it by myself. I'd love to have anybody that's interested. You know, um, it, is, it is a diverse community, and there will be a lot of different opinions. The fact of the matter is, at the end of the day, somebody has to decide, we're going to do this, we're going to spend the money this way versus another way. Dobashevitz, some neighborhood residents, and some local business owners say they believe that the long-term future of the market hinges on revitalizing this blighted neighborhood. They cite the need for new housing. They say that demolitions aren't enough. Meanwhile, a number of residents say they think that this neighborhood takes a bum rap, that they don't think that the perception of crime is reality. That, that's the trouble. It's the perception. It isn't the actuality. I feel very safe here. I've been here 25 years. I've never had a problem. I've only met nice, decent people. Meanwhile, market officials believe this local institution is on the right track. Some infrastructure improvements have been made, although a lot of the improvements are not visible to the naked eye. They're inside the walls, etc. One longtime market vendor says the jury is still out on the future of this market. Said Mary Lewandowski, quote, I think they're trying to do different things. I don't know if it's going to be enough, but at least they're trying. From the Broadway market, Brian Meyer for the Buffalo News.